I'm going to make people mad for that. So my flat is a mess. But it's not as messy as it could be. Because it's just kind of stuff. Stuff is everywhere. And you know stuff? Stuff can be put away. <coughs> Jeez. So, I've been trying to start my YouTube channel for a lot of years now. Six, actually. <laughs> it has seen many aspects of my life and it's been many things, but I feel like recently I've been trying to fit into a mould, into a niche that already exists, but I never keep it up. Somebody in a mentorship group that I'm a part of was talking about how they're nervous to start their blog because they write about a few different kinds of things. Um, and we're always told to like pick a niche, aren't we? But then they said, I've realised I'm the common denominator and that's enough. And I think that is a really valuable thing to learn. So taking that on board, I have called my next chapter my experimentation era. So my question was, why am I not making content that I'm proud of or like content that I enjoy? So I thought to myself, well, what do I enjoy? And then I replied <laughs> to myself, I enjoy what I consume. And thus the concept was born. I'm going to make videos that are inspired by channels that I already watch. And I will find what I like, what I don't like, and build my skill until I found my own style. So I've just finished listening to Start Now, Get Perfect Later by Rob Moore. And to be honest, I could do with listening to that a couple of times a year. Because it's motivational, but in a non-fluffy, understanding kind of way. Um, he talks about how if it were actually that easy just to do all the things, then everybody would be doing all the things and they'd all be following their dreams, but they're not. Because there's fear of failure, obviously, fear of success, actually, and fear of the unknown, fear of rejection, fear of judgment. But do you know what? He says, you know, people are going to judge you anyway. So it's good motivation to just kind of go ahead and do it because you'll get judged either way. <laughs> so here I am just doing it. <laughs> Well, that went surprisingly well. <laughs> Sometimes little small things will become really big scary things in our minds. Um, but something that I'm trying to do or learn to do is definitely to cut myself some slack. I have found that the world is difficult for me to exist in. But acknowledging that is only the first step. Accepting that I need to approach my life slightly differently from the average person and the fact that that does not make me a failure <laughs> that is going to be the hardest part so yeah my flat is going to be messy a lot of the time and it's going to feel like an impossible never-ending soul-destroying task to keep it tidy but look what i did look what we did thanks for helping <laughs>